Hey there, everyone. This is Al Gal playing Banjo Kazooie, and I hope you guys are excited about me pounding on tiled floors, cause that's what I'm doing. Didn't activate that W. I heard a boing. Well, anyways, last time, you know, I I filled up some jigsaw puzzles, and as a reward, Bottle shouted things at me. So let's do some of that. Bottles bonus one. So. B O, yeah, and see they still light up and everything. So double T. It's gonna be an L somewhere right here. Then E S. Yeah. S. Then we return to B to spell bonus. There's the O. You can still use the same one. It's okay. No one's gonna complain. There's the U, there's the S, and then there's the 1. Look at that. O N E. All together at last. Welcome to Mississippi. Oh my god, my head is huge! And now Bottle's making fun of me. No! No bonus. Or maybe we do want a bonus. Oh, jeez. Don't destroy his brain, please. Wow, is your nose changing size, Banjo? That's weird. This is the same thing, but substitute one for two. Huh, so you need to step out and back in? Because they're like, I'm not getting like the, the tile lighting up or anything. So, you know, I, I'm just wondering. Like, now will it work? Yes, it will. Uh, Alright, two. So T here, W here, and we have a choice of various O's. Oh my gosh, I'm a mutant now, but I have a mighty punch and giant feet. <laughs> so, you got kind of just what's going on here. I think just someone took the time to program this for fun and I let. Whoa, now it lets me do it again, huh? Alright, let's move on to three. Or not. Or not. Alright, three. So T. Where's an H? Where is an H? Oh, there it is. You don't normally need an H to spell Banjo Kazooie. Alright. R and double E. You don't just have a double E key, sadly. Whoa, we saw that. Banjo's normal, but then, whoa, Kazoozo's giant. Oh, there you go. Yeah, big ol' head. Uh, at last, I don't think it has, like, causes damage bonus or anything. But it's there. It's funny. Um, how do you spell four? Looks like an F. Looks like a no. Looks like a U. And looks like a NAR. That's right. Oh, boy. It's basketball style. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wiener dog. Oh wow, you like barely duck when you do that and it looks weird. <laughs> Alright, I love it. Five, so that starts with an F. It can tease with an I. There's a V in here? There sure is. And then you got an E right here. We did it! It's just all weirdly mixed up. Remix! You see, you got like big. Oh, I oh don't know. Your head is tiny too. It's just weird. It's uncomfortable. When you duck, it's more like your hands combine in a weird way. Alright. Uh, now I got Big Balls bonus. Whoa. So add a big, add a start. You and S. That's the Big Balls bonus. Everything is huge. We did it! Look at that! Big head and big head, double big head. Wonderful, tastic news. Not big egg. Alright, wishy washy banjo was the last thing I unlocked. It better be worth it! There we go. That's a classic banjo you have to actually spell it. Oh my gosh! Uh huh. Uh oh. <laughs> so yeah, you get you get through this washing machine. You keep all your moves, although obviously the animation don't quite work out. 
I believe though that um, I was told that your flippity doesn't reach as high, so there are actually things you can get. And yeah, like Mumbo just said that you know some things might not be possible to do. Oh, look at the eyes though. Banjo seems upset. That's the punch attack. That's a mighty roll. We're just sinking the ground. Uh, all the best. So there you go. That's how it looks like. Whoa. Wait. Oh, I see. There's the wrong button. There you go. Egg coming out of the eyeballs. Eyeball eggs. But surprise, there's more. Now, most of the cheats, other cheats that you don't cannot find otherwise in a game, but you can access. Most of them just like unlock no doors or activate pads before you talk to, uh, to bottles and like get you 99 mumbo tokens. Wow. But there's a selection of them that actually have interesting effects and we're going to be spending some time doing that now so all of these start basically the same way you spell by spelling out cheat see you get a moo cow for fun gonna look for the h again uh-huh e a now, the thing is, after you spell out cheat, you do not get any indications anymore. So you just, and they're kind of long. Because what I'm going to be spelling out here is, don't you go and tell her about the secret in her cellar. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that. Yeah, see, no more indications. So, uh, pay attention to what you're doing. Alright, and look at that! Remember this scene? Remember how there was a tub with like a neck barred over the cask? There's nothing weird about that. Well, there's nothing weird about that either. Alright, out of the sea it rises to reveal more prizes. Okay, I was wondering because it didn't flash there, but yeah, remember Shark Food Island? It grew like in the secret full ending. Whoa! Unbelievable. But check it out, there's more. Alright, well, um. Oh wow, and I almost missed one too. Alright, well, I'm gonna do both, so. Alright, now you can see a nice ice key which you can have for free. Now you can see... For... Three... Oh, what a nightmare to spell out. Like, every time, it's like the fear. Did I make a mistake at some point? Yeah, remember that key that's not there? That key's not in there. Uh, still more. At least two more. A desert door opens wide. Ancient secrets wait inside. Desert door open wide. Okay, desert E E. Okay, yeah, I did it. Look at that. Remember that door? Yeah, we saw that in the time traveling picture too. All right, at least one more, then I'll double check through the list. Ugh. All right. Uh. Amidst the haunted gloom, a secret in the bathroom. O M. All right. This is the least interesting secret egg. It's just there over logo. I don't know. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess. Oh, am I missing any? <sighs> One more. One more thing to make thing. All right. Now Banjo will be able to see it on Nabnut's table. Okay, the rhyme was with able. Now Banjo will be able to see it on Nabnut's table. I feel like I messed up somewhere. Oh, but I didn't. All right, never mind. Look at that, an adorable scene. All right, well, let's go get the things we've unlocked. 
There's a bit of it, and see what happens. And but I mean, the first one though, pretty easy to spot because we literally, like this one is the most like absolute change where a shark ghost appears. Uh, like we just like added like a whole like dimension of rock. Wait, you can't get the banjo if you're yeah, you can. All right, look at that. See, this is unfortunately this is like the only place where it. Like, make something happen, so to speak. Like, we get, like, a brand new platforming challenge here where we make a washing machine do way too many sea jumps for no real reason. You can do it pretty fast, though. Like, it's just very repetitive. It's like, yeah, wrong like that. Make worth sounds with your mouth. Uh, that is my ch- Whoa, I almost, uh... Well, there, that would have been embarrassing. All right, then you get up here, do a mighty flip, and then you just pop. Dead it! Yeah! Okay, Banjo's excited. I'm sure we'll find a use for this somewhere. Oh, Banjo. And isn't it in your totals? Like, if we go to, like... Game total cannot hear. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in here. Is it at the other end? Because it doesn't loop around? Yeah! Stop and swap! There we go! It's the old stop and swap. Wet stop and swap! Uh, if you don't know, it's on the internet. <laughs> There's nothing at Mumbo's. There's nothing at Clankers. Nothing in Swamp. Nothing in Freeze. So next stop is Gobi. I'm gonna wear boots. Am I? Oh, you can't wear power-ups when you're a washing machine. I don't know if I was aware of that. That means I'm gonna have the tank here, huh? I mean, that's fine, like, it doesn't matter. Oh, but I'm invincible to sand. I didn't think there would be gameplay aspects like that. I feel like I learned something. Whoa, trunk are still huge. All right, so to at least attempt an explanation. Once upon a time, uh, Rare had the brilliant idea to see if they could, in some way, combine 2e and the first game together yeah we saw the same in the time traveling polaroid it's, it's the same same solution to this puzzle press down this button sarcophagus rises it's like whoa it's a blue egg delicious face through the wall wow yeah it's another one special eggs i don't know if it acknowledges when you get them all can you fly as a washing machine? Oh, that's funny. I mean, I don't know why it's funny, but it's really funny. So yeah, the idea was that the Rare was planning on using... Uh, a, it's not really a feature, but sort of a thing with the N64, where it would take a non-zero amount of time for it to clear its RAM when you shut it off. Uh, uh, and so the idea was that you would do whatever to do to in instigate the flop and blop, and then you would... No, no, I'm not a bear. I'm not a... Bears are not square like this. I... Uh, just barely. Anyway, here's this magical key. This is like... I feel like that's the only completed object, and maybe the, the eggs were gonna be something else, because that's the only thing that's something, right? But anyway, like, so you put, you basically, the idea is that you turn off the game, and then quickly, before the RAM stop ramming, uh, you would, uh, put the, the, the right game in, and then, you know, information would be exchanged. Oh, I forgot one. I knew it, I forgot a code. Well, I mean, I'll still get this while I'm here, I guess. Now, there were two major obstacles to this whole stop-and-swap idea that forced Rareware to not do it. 
Uh, the first being that Nintendo didn't want it to happen, from what I understand. And I mean, like, I get it. Like, do you want kids pulling games out? Like, like I, I can see how... Oh, I'm not in the right place. I could see how they would be worried, like, kids, like, possibly, like, endanger their console and their games. It's like, quickly ripping off, like, cartridges while they might have still be on and stuff. Like, it was just... I could see this leading to problems. Hey, wanna go inside, Mr. Bat? No? Alright. You know, like, it was just asking for trouble. Like, let's be, let's be real. I understand why, uh, match made in heaven. Yeah, no more text. But also, there's another really important, um, problem. Uh, while the first version of the N64, like, it had, like, it would hold its ramp, like, 20 seconds longer. Like, I might be wrong with the numbers. But it could hold it a while, a little while, but there was a hardware revision, like, it's not like it's known or anything. Look at this nice little pedestal room. This place is adorable. But anyways, that version of the N64, like, dumped this RAM in, like, three or four seconds. Like, you would not have time to do it. And there's no real way to tell what version of an N64, but also Nintendo would not let have this be a thing that only works on one version of hardware and not the other. Which, I mean, obviously. So, that whole thing had to be nixed. Yeah, I need to go back to the sandcastle. I forgot code. I knew I forgot one. Whoa, a washing machine inside a tub. That's ridiculous. Alright, the red egg. I completely forgot about. Uh, the secret you'll be grabbing in the captain's cabin. This secret you'll be grabbing. I'm not sure. I might have made a mistake. Find out soon, as soon as I find the end. Okay, I was right. I, for a hot second there, I really, hey, that's a view we don't see ever. We got to see that painting in the back. That's exciting. Hey, it's that music. Hey, buddy, you're not a captain. Oh no, you can see the painting here clearly. I don't know why I made such a big deal about it. Sorry, didn't mean to. Oh man, can you wonder wing? You sure can. There's no animation associated with it, which is normal, but you sure can. So the season doors stay open. Oh my god, you just broke open the window. And so master criminal Banjo and Kasui pull off yet another powerful heist. Disguising themselves as an appliance and coming and steal this couple's uh, red egg, as you do. And I think that's it! And from what I remember, when you unlock one of these eggs, it's there for every file, which could be another problem. But yeah, look at that. Big nice row with a key underneath. They don't even spin at the same speed, like the sign one spins a lot faster and that's pretty fun. So yeah, Banjo-Kazooie! I love this game. I still love it. There is still a lot to love. Next time! Don't worry about it.